In this video, we're going to talk about the flex shrink property in Flexbox. Now this is sort of similar to the flex grow property we talked about a few videos ago. The only difference is here we're shrinking, whereas in the other one, we were actually expanding the flex item. So what this is really useful for is if you're not wrapping your flex items and you start to run out of space, you can take the space from one of your flex items and basically shrink it. And then that space is automatically redistributed to the rest of the flex items that you need space for. So it's usually a situation where you don't have enough space on your row and you wanna go ahead and redistribute that space. So similar to the flex grow property, these are done in factors. So for instance, if we wanted to reduce this by a factor of two, this box one here, it would cut it in half and then it would redistribute the rest of the space to all of these remaining flex items. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our box one and let's go ahead and specify flex shrink and let's reduce it by a factor of two. This has now been reduced and the remaining space is distributed to the rest of the flex items. Now, also the nice thing about this property is it scales. So watch as we reduce the size of the browser window and you can see this scales appropriately. Now let's go ahead and reduce this by a factor of three, but we'll actually need some larger flex items so that this is more apparent. So let's go ahead and remove four, five, and six. So let's get rid of these. And then we'll come to our style sheet and let's get rid of the CSS for these as well. There we go, let's go back up. And then what we're gonna do now is make this a percentage. And let's give the rest of these a percentage. And there we go. We're distributing these evenly between our three flex items. And let's go ahead now and specify the flex shrink again, but this time what we're gonna do is reduce this by a factor of three, and this will be more apparent with the larger boxes. And there you can see, this is now reduced by a factor of three, and the remaining space is redistributed to our other two flex items. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video, thank you.